Tomorrow, we Iranians and others in our region and beyond celebrate Nowruz, marking the coming of spring and the beginning of our Persian New Year. It testifies to the character, spirit, and magnanimity of our people that they celebrate amid unprecedented, inhumane, and illegal sanctions and pressures. Indeed, despite the medieval tactics employed by the United States to destroy their livelihoods, they are unwavering in their sense of hope. This is, of course, not new, as our people have shown seven consecutive American presidents. We Iranians don't just persevere in the face of adversity. Rather, we seize on it as an opportunity to reinvent ourselves and to advance. Nowruz represents the culture of constant renewal and hope. We not only celebrate the renewal of nature, but resolve to renew our thoughts, our deeds, and efforts for a brighter future for ourselves, our loved ones, our nation, and indeed our planet. This year, we in government are at the forefront of this tradition as we reaffirm our endeavor to do better for our people, whether at home or abroad. In the coming year, Iranians will experience the dividends of an emerging economy of resilience that will increasingly shield their livelihoods. This economy will be signified by greater connectivity, efficiency, transparency, and perhaps most importantly, accountability. In parallel, we'll, we will continue to engage with our partners to brick by brick dismantle the inhumane wall that the U.S. administration has labored to erect around us. Make no mistake, we rely solely on our own people to overcome any challenges, but we also welcome constructive engagement, including with the expanding array of nations who are equally sick and tired of the bullying of the United States. Whether it's via closer engagement with our neighbors or our partners in the nuclear deal and beyond, we will continue to assume our place as a safe and reliable center for trade and commerce in a troubled region. We're under no illusion that the path ahead is easy, but I will remind those who wish us harm that Iranians have celebrated more than 3,000 new days and will celebrate countless more before submitting to outside diktats, let alone those issued by an increasingly isolated power, which is today out of touch with the realities of our post-Western world. We Iranians have proudly outlived many aggressors, but our people have consistently shown a strong preference for less regional and global tension and more dialogue and more constructive engagement. To all my Iranian compatriots and all those celebrating in the world of Nowruz, I would like to extend my wishes for a happier, healthier, and more hopeful New Year. With faith and hope, Iranians have shown that there is nothing that can stop us from pursuing a brighter future. As Molana has said, Ahmad Bahar Aashigan تا خاکدان بستان شود آمد ندای آسمان تا مرغ جان پران شود Happy New Year to all of you